In the previous videos, we saw how we can add an event listener to DOM elements. In this example, we selected a button, then we are listening to the click event on this button. The add event listener method allowed us to pass it a callback. This callback gets called whenever the event is triggered. This callback also accepts an argument, which is the event object. Let's add it to our callback, then let's console log the event object. And now when we click on this button, it created a mouse event object. This object, this event object has some useful properties that you can use like the timestamp property. This property returns when the event has been triggered. The screen X is a property that provides the horizontal coordinates of the mouse pointer. Let's console log this property. And now when this event occurs, we console log the coordinates of the mouse pointer. The mouse object inherits from the event object. If we go to the MDN and look for the event object, we can find all of the methods and properties that we can use with this event object. So make sure you play with these properties and methods. Now let's listen for a different event. I will remove this code. And let's select this input. Then let's select the submit button. Then let's add an event listener to the input. So input add event listener and I will listen for the key up event. Then I will give it a callback. Here we will console log the event. The event is Kia. When this event occurs, the event is not a mouse event. It returns a keyboard event. So let's see what it has. It has the key property, returns the key entered. We also have the key code and a lot of things. So each event is special. This one is not like the mouse event.